everybody. I'm just about to edit this video, so I thought I needed to put this on at the start. This is a few clips. You can see Sarah Joy. <laughs> You'll see her at the end, um, because I've literally just finished filming the clip with her in it. Um, yeah, this video is a few clips taken over, I think it was Sunday, Monday, and today. Could have been Saturday, Sunday, <laughs> Monday, and today, which is Wednesday. Yeah, today is Wednesday. Um, I can't remember. But anyway, it's just quite a few clips loaded together. And so I wanted to let you know that. Otherwise, I just like to start talking straight into the camera. <laughs> See you in the next video. Hi, guys. Well, it's the end of an era today. See the shop behind me? This is a caravan shop. And it's the end of an era for gramps to me. I've traded in gramps plus our caravan that we have to keep what we've been keeping in York for a new caravan. Not not brand new 2012. But um yeah it's the end of an era. It's the end of a camping era. Now we're going car hunting for me. So we won't be getting it's not gonna be a brand new car guys. <laughs> no 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 so this was a very, very old camper, wasn't it? So, oh, oh, end of an era. Time to move on. Yeah. So this is what I'm looking at. It's so tiny, guys. Yeah. Let's have a look inside. Come here, then. Come here. Come here. It's gonna be, and it's got a gear stick. Oh my god, it's gonna be so weird driving with a gear stick. <laughs> it is, it's gonna be so weird driving with a gear stick too. <laughs> Hello aunties. We are going to open this, aren't we? Hey? Yes, yes we are. We're going to open it finally. See, I'm happy about that. Yeah, you are happy about that, are you? Okay, let's get to it then. Here we are. Ready. We've got to press that one and no. They got to pay they got the the shopping's got to go through first, hasn't it? So you've got to do this first. Don't think this is very good, aunties. Right, ready? That's it, press the button. And here comes the food. <laughs> That's what you're buying then, is it Emma Jane? She's got her card ready. That is what she's buying. Oh, oh, oh. I'm still using her new phone, so. She's got the card. I think you need to put the card reader in here. This is the thing that you can use to zap everything. Okay. You want to use that one now, do you? Okay, you zap it. Gotta zap, got zap the barcode, look, this one. That's what you got to do, you've got to zap the barcode. And try it again. Yeah. Get ready then. Get ready. So you're going to zap it. There we go. And how many pennies was that on there? How many pennies is that? 33. Wow. It's got an on off button. Oh, on. Clear. Yeah. Hmm. It just seems really, really focused in. And then you press this button and the pennies come out. See? So you have to get the pennies. I know. Emma Jane wants to pay with her card, doesn't she? Go 
Come on in, Emma Jane. Play with your card. Ready? Ready? Yay! Card holder copy. See, it's accepted it. It's got the card holder copy. Sainsbury's. Sainsbury's Supermarket. Yep, that's where we bought it. So we bought it to go with this um, set up shop we've got. It's a pop-up play storage box shop, so I'll open that. But um, also for Christmas, Auntie Nancy, Auntie Nancy sent them a basket full of food. So that was good. So we can play shops, can't we? And also I've got a lot of stuff here that I'm packing up. Um, Timothy's over there. He's holding some shoes waiting for me. Um, he's going to help me. You know, you get your hands away from mum's coffee. Mum's cup of tea. And... Um, Packing these bits up ready for post. It was the winning, the winners, um, the winners of the giveaway. Yes. And um, some happy mail for a friend and some happy mail for another lady um, who I forgot to add to the giveaway, unfortunately. It was completely my fault, but I forgot to add you, didn't I, Karen? So she has accepted some happy mail. As a sorry, because I'm really sorry about that. But um, yes, so that's what we're doing Sunday afternoon. And you just can't move around too much here. Mr. N Mr. Knight there nodding his head because he's asleep. <laughs> how? I don't know how. We've got, oh, we've got um, Happy Mail to open ourselves. We should get to that. Do you want to open that with me, Emma? Yeah. Okay, so now we have Happy Mail to open. Can you open this with me? Say, oh, it's all messy here, isn't it? It is messy. We need, Mummy needs to tidy this table off before tea time. Isn't she? Hey. There we go, aunties, we're back. Look at this card. It's from Charlie Bears. It says Odette Isabel Collection 2017. Isn't that cute? I'm not showing a lot of me because I'm not sway, all right? It is 20, what is it now here, Russ? 28? 28, yeah. It's 28 here. And we're not used to it. And in Britain, we have really heavily insulated houses to keep the heat in. So we are all a bit hot and bothered. It keeps it cooling. Keeps it cooling. We're going to say the house is more keeps it cooling. Yeah, there you go. Don't have any air con, basically. No, 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 no. So, anyway, mind up the way this is just a minute. Mum, I have to open this one. Oh no, I think I will. Do you want to do that one? She's, she's looking at biscuits that are behind the camera. You know, bribery goes a long way with kids. <laughs> Look at shortbread fingers, aren't they? Individual packs. They're actually Sheena's favourites. But they're individual packs, so I've got them to, um, like, put in the giveaways. Oh, this. oh, it's a blue tights. Oh, look at them. They're cute. Oh, they're nice. Look at them. Oh, I feel so hot opening it right now, Sarah. <laughs> but look at them. They're cabled. got to um, do this little pouch for Karen. Have coffee on me, Karen. And these biscuits this time. Walker shortbread. Yum. Yummy. Yummy. That's what... Um, Emma Jane is looking at all the way through. So when I post out your parcels, you will notice that I do use 
recycled packaging. I do recycle packaging. So keeps the cost down for me. So it enables me to do great giveaways. Which is what I like. So I just have to write you a card. So then I always write a card, a little note to put in there. This is the box. This here is the box that I keep all the my labels and all my um, notelets and postcards. I don't think I have tons of postcards. Any? Oh, yeah, it kind of looks like I do. <laughs> I don't, oh, no, I don't think that's all postcards. Yeah, oh, that is. <laughs> Let me show you. Uh-uh, I have a postcard addiction. Wow, I always like to send postcards. People might not have been to the places that I've been to, so I do like to send them. And what have you got? You've got something that's going in the bag as well, haven't you, for Auntie Karen? Yes, you're going to give me those shoes then, please? So I can, yeah, you're a good boy. Thank you very much, isn't he? A good boy, aunties. And I know some aunties have missed seeing you. Because we've had Toby, so we've done lots of videos to help Toby settle in, haven't we? And he's down there now, look, playing with Emma J, playing shops. Hey, you want to go down and play shops too? Okay, sweetheart, you've been a really good help. Thank you. Okay, so I'm going to write um, some addresses. So I just need to find a roof, it's a dress. Um, it's Monday now and I'm away posting the stuff that I wrapped up yesterday on Saturday. Now I would normally post this on Tuesday, but as it happens, I have the doctors um, today to have a blood test and the post office near the blood near where I get the bloods done is just here. So that's where we're going. We're doing them on a Monday. And there they go. They've all gone. I'm going to have a drink. It is really hot here. <laughs> and I know the whole of England is going to be talking about how hot it is. But look at the sky. The sky is really grey. <laughs> it's like if you're going to have the hottest day ever on record in England, then can you just give us a blue sky? <laughs> so I'm driving my a new car, guys. And I think I said yesterday it was 2012. It's a 2011. So it's an old, an older car. Just makes um, financial sense at the moment for me to have an older car. Um, oh, here we go. The gear stick's a bit worn. There's a little, not a dent, but a little mark on one of the sides. I put the seats down in the back. Um, I'll show you in a minute. I, there. I put the seats down ready for the prams because that was my, that was my, one of my main things was I don't mind getting a smaller car. In fact, I always had a smaller car until I had the camper. I always had like a Citroen C1. I had a um, Citroen C2. So I really did love my small cars anyway. They're like little bumper cars. And, um, but the thing I was saying this time was I need to be able to put a pram in. That is, you know, that is important. And I know the boots on these are very small, but you know, I don't hardly, I mean, I can't remember the last time I put a passenger in Gramps or even in my car. And when I go with my kids, they tend, they drive. So, um, you know, that's a perk of being a mum now. They can drive me around. So, yeah, the seats have gone down. I'm sure I'll be able to get a pram in there. And we will be trying that out. But not on the hottest day of the year. I'm not going to try that out at all. <laughs> but the bonus, it was a low price. And it also has, look at the miles. It only has 24,000 on the clock. So, I'm sure this was um, owned just by, um, I don't know, just a commu little commuting car or... Um, a little uh, run around for some somebody, or somebody like me, <laughs> a little old lady. <laughs> but the difference is it's a gear. So that's the only thing I've had to really get used to a gear because um, 
the camper was an automatic and I really wanted an automatic but I just couldn't justify the extra the f extra few thousand pounds for an automatic of the same age as this I just couldn't justify it the miles on this is is just you know it's hardly even for a Toyota it's hardly running really so yeah so there we go so I thought I'd share that update with you from this weekend So, what are we going to call this little car then? Because we called my campers Gramps. <laughs> because they were Toyota, both of them were Toyota Granvia. And, oh my God, he gave me the bread of my life. <laughs> anyway, it's having its first wash. Okay, just to stop to the garden centre and I'll show you the baby. There we go. Oh, doesn't she look cute? Now she's had a wash. Well, she was cute before. Oh, very nice old girl. She's a very nice old girl. And she's just so tiny. Look at the little boot. <laughs> she's so tiny. Anyway, here we are at the garden centre. So let's have a look. At one of the other places I love. I don't think there's any hope for me, guys. I just have all these personalities and we love all these things. So, this I like the look of this plant. I don't know if you can remember, and I say it every time I come to a garden center, we have the gaps in the, in the hedge, and at the moment they're being filled in with wildflowers, huge wildflowers, but I would like to get a few more things in there. And this is a bee, tr bee plant, which is a good one. And I like that. And it also, this is what we have. Evergreen shrub, grown as hedging, clips well, height 12 feet. Whew. Trim, let's could trim that. But I'm sure we've got one of those and it's purple. You planty folk might know better than me. This is what I've always wanted. I have to buy one. I have to get one this year. <gasps> Look at these. Oh, they're so pretty. Wow. Especially purple. Purple is my colour. I just love these. Always have. Always, always have. I think one of these in one of the gaps would be absolutely superb. Let's have a look at the price. 25. Prefers lightly shaded, sheltered, sheltered position. Hmm. That would probably be better around by the tree that we've got. Where I hang the bird feed and things from. And I've got my little fairy garden going on there. Hmm. They look pretty though, don't they? Well, I hope you don't mind this like... Oh, look at that. That's going to be a great big uh, butterfly bush. Yeah, I bet. Look at that. Oh, look, there's a butterfly on it. Wow, I love it. A black knight, eh? Hey? Let's have a look. 40, 400 centimetres. Okay. That's quite a nice size then, isn't it? To go down there. Hmm. I like that. Sun and a bit of shade it will grow in. You cannot eat this, okay? <laughs> I um I know nothing about plants apart from the fact that they look lovely. Okay, so don't take anything that I ever say. Don't you must look everything up yourself. <gasps> it's honeysuckle, isn't it? Oh God, I love honeysuckle. I just love, love, love honeysuckle. Oh, I might have to buy myself one. Oh, jasmine. Mm. Perfect for walls and fences. Oh, that's jasmine. I thought that was honeysuckle. Right, up to three meters. Full sun. What oh, that's making my eyes itch straight away. Oh, 
sun. They all like full sun. We can't... Where I would plant this, there wouldn't be full sun. Hmm. That's a shame. Oh, I don't know if it's a shame or not, though, the way it's affecting my eyes. <laughs> that's pretty. Oh, that's honeysuckle. Yes, yes, yes. There it is. Sweet Sue. Oh, it will grow in a bit of shade as well. Well, Sue. Borders, beds and borders, scented. How big does it grow? It doesn't, does it? It just grows up and up and up and up and up. Up to three metres. Spread. Oh, scented honeysuckle. Oh my God, I just love honeysuckle. That looks lovely. Mm -mm -mm. Grown in the Cotswolds. British grown. They're nice pots, aren't they? Bees. Bees always make me think of the bees. You know, I've got a Rebecca as my daughter. Her wife is called Rebecca. And her dog is called Bee. <laughs> so they're known as the bees. <laughs> they like bee things. Wisteria. That's nice to grow, isn't it? Always looks nice as well. Five metres. I think, though, we've got something that climbs and attacks the, the plants um, where I was thinking about planting that. So I'd have to talk to somebody about that. Oh, my eyes. That really irritated my eyes, that stuff. Oh, there. Look at that. Wow. Can you imagine all of that? That looks like wild, wild flower. Anyway, I'm going to have a wander around now. We've had a little little chance, little look, haven't you guys? We'll get to a garden centre another day, but um, yeah, look at it, beautiful. Hiya, so we're here with another clip. Today is Wednesday and we have rain down here in Somerset. Um, so, well, it'll be a drizzly day. It's a drizzly day and it's cooler. So that is, good. oh, sorry, baby. But that doesn't mean that the little ones don't want water, does it? They're still, they're still warm. You're still warm, aren't you, Popsicle? Hey, you're still warm, yeah, baby. So she's in her nappy and with a bib. This is Sarah. There you go. Good girl. Oh, you were thirsty. Is it a bit hot for you, honey? Hey, still hot for the babies and the toddlers. Just haven't felt like videoing again since Monday because it is just boiling. And I, I can't put out a video just for the sake of it because this is like my like escape place, if you like. Um, so there is no, no point in doing it otherwise. Is there a little girl? So, uh, yeah, so I did do all my, I did have meetings yesterday, so I did that. And then went grocery shopping, came home and just went to sleep. <laughs> it's better. It's better, you got some burpees. I'm going to change her as well. I'm going to put you on something a little bit cooler. Hey, now before the night starts. Bless you, little cotton. So bib's quite big for her. They, it's not a bib I want, Mum. I need if if she, if you're sick now, it's just going to go everywhere, isn't it? So you won't be sick though because you didn't have milk, so I shouldn't think she's going to be sick. There she is, Auntie. Your aunties want to see you. Always looks awful, doesn't it? Holding a newborn up by its neck. <laughs> I always used to think that of my kids when we used to take photos now of them. And now you look back on them. But um, yeah, so you like a change of scenery, girl, don't you? Uh, I managed to send out that happy mail this week. Oh, you will have seen that because I clipped, filmed that clip, didn't I, on Monday? Yeah. 
yes. So I did film a few clips. When I took you to the garden centre, so I've got a few ideas on plants for the garden to fill in the gaps. I was talking to the lady at the garden, garden centre, so she was very helpful. Uh, it's been so dry. Say the, the garden needs it, but so do the reservoirs around here, don't they? And I know that some of you live in areas where it's really, really hot. But here in England, in the UK, homes aren't built with aircon. And anyway, we're English. We talk about the weather. That's what we do. <laughs> That's like one of the main things we talk about. Hi, when you meet someone. Hi, how are you? Hot, in it? Hi, how are you? Yeah, fed up the snow now. <laughs> I don't know what else we would have left to talk about. It's one of the things of being British. You're so cute. Alistair has settled into his new home very nicely. He has, hasn't he? He did get some um, like marks though. Although I can't see in the pictures very well. The pictures aren't that clear. But one on his knee and one on his ankle. And it's not the creasing... Um, it's not the creasing. What, what else did I think it could have been? Uh, uh, I mean, not the creasing. I know it's not like the detailing of him. It's not his details. Um, he was in the box for two weeks. Because I did, or ten days or something like that. Because I did box him up. And then got to the post office and thought that the person I was mess sending him to would have to pay fees the other end. And I didn't want to do that. But... Um, in the end, I just, the law following week, the Lord was just like, just send her. And I did just send her. And she didn't get any fees, so that was good. Oh, you're there. You better settle now. You better settle now. Hey. Yeah, you're getting sticky with that vest on, weren't you? Screeching. Hey, yes, you were. You were. Mama was getting the vegetables ready for tea tonight, wasn't she? You were screaming and screaming. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, let Auntie see your nice bib. <laughs> it is Peter Rabbit. I don't know if you can remember I bought it. I actually don't really like this colour on her much. This like lilac. I don't think it goes nicely with her colouring. So I did have um one of the sets that I bought her, the short set with the buttons down on her, and I don't think it I don't like it. Doesn't do nothing for you. No, it doesn't, my little puppet. No. It is better though, isn't it? Hey, that's better. Yeah. 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 Well, I think, yeah, so I was talking about Alistair getting there, wasn't I? Um, yeah, I don't think it was. Um, so it wasn't anything to do with his colouring. It could have been the fact that he was in the box for so long that the clothes had squished against him. That's what I thought. It could have been the clothing that had squished against him and left a mark. Well, the other thing now I'm thinking, as I'm talking to you about it, is I'm sure he had on, I sent him with a romper. With um, I don't know if you can remember when I went on holiday, I think I showed you this. I bought him a Lion King outfit, a Lion King, like, all in one thing. I'm wondering if the... Because he'd been in the box for so long, it was so hot... Whether the the poppers, because I think they were metal poppers, had left a mark on the knee and on the ankle. Because it's on the knee and the ankle bone. Not that the person who received him has put her off of him one bit. And I told her if she doesn't bond or she's not happy with him, just sell, just sell him on. Um... This is her first reborn, I think. I believe it's your first reborn, isn't it? And um, I just knew that he was just so such a cuddler, so lovely that he might bring somebody else some comfort like he did me. <laughs> Look at you now. Can you see yourself? Mum, I can see you. I keep looking at you and not at your friends. <laughs> Your aunties who are watching. 
Yes. And my nappy mummy is too big. Your nappy is very big. Look how big you are. You're a big long girl. There you are. You're a long gone girl. Yeah. You're very cute. Are you going to start trying to suck your fingers? Are you going to try and suck your fingers? Yeah. Oh. You learn. Oh, why don't you put yourself in the eye? You'll learn some self soothing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sweetheart. Um, yeah, so that's the only thing that now that I can think of. I did ask her if it was a close, so I was thinking like creases, but actually now I'm thinking that maybe it was the um the poppers in the clothing. Mm. Anyway, anyway. It only notices if he's wearing shorts, so I think I'm assuming. I don't think she minds about that. Oh, goodness, this has got buttons down. It's a little set. Uh, this was, um, I bought a two, a set of two, when I went to that mum-to-mum -mum market that I showed you. Um, these are from Next, I think, but they were something like 50p up to one month. Oh, no, two. Two-y. Two. Two-y. Two. T-U. From Sainsbury's. We've got a nice... Um, uh, giraffe theme going on on them with all these lovely flowers on they look so cute okay so we're going to put that on here it's got poppers around the bottom and but oh no yeah what's that that's a fake fake button anyway fake popper so it's got poppers around the bottom for easy changing I still haven't bought her any other nappies yet, Sam. <laughs> She's wearing this and this is huge on her still. Saying, well, yeah, I am not grown that much. So she can't grow, can she? Because she's a dove. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It's funny when people comment, but it's a doll. And you're like, in the comments, you're like, yeah. <laughs> Do you think I didn't know that? <laughs> oh, then your mama's crazy. Oh, dear. Say, what do you know, aunties? Oh, this one, a very good way. This one, easy to put on. Also, I don't like to be putting this on a newborn, proper newborn baby. Hey, this wasn't easy to put on. And it's up to a month, so I think it's going to be quite big for you. Yeah, I do. So it doesn't matter, Mommy. As long as I'm nice and cool. It doesn't matter, does it? This has got the um the yellow colour in it that I like for Felicity. Actually she's wearing a yellow dress right now, actually. She is in the push chair, isn't she? She's been rocked to sleep. Frankie's at school. Timothy. Emma Jane and Annie are at nursery. So remember, I can't get Toby in yet. Probably will be after the school holidays now. And um, Toby is asleep. And then, oh, hello, Bright Loose Leia. See, there we go. There you go. There. How does that look on you? Hey, how do you... Yeah, with that. Oh, got some air. Got some air by the door here on your arms. You got some air on your arms? You have, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, a little cutie. Say, look at me, aunties. Look at me. Oh, I keep forgetting she's got blue eyes. Blue would look nice. It'd bring out the colour in your eyes. I mean, forget you've got blue eyes. I keep thinking she's got brown eyes when I'm out and about for some reason. At least I'll do for a ball. Oh, she's found it. My <laughs> mummy keeps thinking you've got brown eyes. It's because I usually have babies with lots of brown eyes. Oh, they're short. No, I've got short arms, but their legs are a little bit, a little bit long. But they're nice and loose. 
So it's much better to have something loose on than something too tight. It is. I love this look. She looks like she's real. This is where how her hands naturally fall. But she's like, hmm, I'm really listening to you. I'm really taking it all in. Sorry, like at the moment, I'm not like looking at you, right? But before, the viewfinder was right in the centre. And now it is right in the left-hand corner on this phone. Yeah, it is. It's right in the left-hand corner. <laughs>